is what we're making today. It's a seashell flower necklace. You could wear this and a pink bikini and you will just be all beachy, cute, beach girl, seashell girl, toes in the sand, mermaid-ish and with the summer breeze blowing through your hair. You could put it like on a headband instead of a necklace. It's really super pretty and easy to make. You just need like a handful of seashells. Like, I'm not sure how many I used, I think. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's 25 seashells just made into a seashell flower. And you're gonna need something like this. Some kind of beachy cord or twine or hemp. But I like this. And a pair of scissors, some needle nose pliers right here, wire cutters, glue that is specific for jewelry. So the very first thing we're gonna do is lay out all our seashells because you want them in graduating sizes, starting with the big ones and then working all the way down to the little baby ones. Start by cutting a small piece of felt about the size of a 50 cent piece. I just used the top of a vitamin jar. We're gonna glue the seashells around in a circle and the hot glue gun will allow you to hold the seashell in place. If you try and use another glue, the shell's gonna fall over flat and you're not gonna get the pretty flower shape that you need. Be careful with this part. It's really easy to burn your fingers. You may wanna use a low temperature hot glue gun or some of those protective finger covers that they sell at the craft store. Overlap your seashells in a spiral pattern, starting with the larger shells and working your way down to the smaller shells as you get toward the center. You can use a pearl, a rhinestone, or anything you like for the center of the flower. Just be sure to use jewelry glue to attach it. This is, this is it. It's glued onto the back. You put the jump ring through the tiny little hole and then you can attach the necklace to it. If you can't find something like this, then you just have a pretty flower, but you don't have any way to wear it around your neck. It's, it's the same exact thing. See how I did it? Round, random, metal jewelry thing. Look at Michael's, look on Etsy. You might even just already have one. This is it right here. Use hot glue to attach your jewelry finding to the back and then use a jump ring to attach your necklace to the flower. I'm gonna use this little tiny paintbrush right here and I'm gonna paint all the seashells with this. I used about three coats of CC Caldwell's satin finish. This brings out the color in the seashells and gives it a beautiful shine. You can purchase CC Caldwell products on my website and other fun craft supplies. So last week I made that right there. It's a yarn covered chandelier. And if you haven't seen that video, click the link right here and you can watch that. I'm giving all the extra yarn from the chandelier away to one of my subscribers. And so it's going to Miss Mary 333. Congratulations, Mary. You are the winner of all this yarn. I'll get your address and I'll mail all the yarn to you and I wanna see what you make with it. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, be sure and subscribe because I have giveaways and I like to give away craft supplies and crazy things. And yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Here's the necklace. Here it is. Seashell necklace. It's super, ooh. There's the front of it. Uh. I'm giving away a kit so you can make your own seashell necklace. To enter the giveaway, subscribe to my channel, share this video with a friend, and leave me a comment letting me know how you shared it. Thanks for watching.